In a move that has delighted Manchester United fans, manager Eric Ten Hag has successfully convinced the club to transform a premium hospitality suite at Old Trafford into a dedicated pre-match base for the first-team squad. This decision marks a significant change from the previous practices of managers Jose Mourinho and Louis van Gaal, who had both failed to secure a similar arrangement. Point Ten Hag had been pushing for a space where the players could eat and prepare on match days, eliminating the need for hotel meets before home games. United's previous hierarchy had blocked similar requests from Mourinho and van Gaal, but under the new football first strategy led by chief executive Richard Arnold, the club has prioritized on pitch matters over commercial considerations. The move to create a permanent lounge and dining space at Old Trafford is seen as a testament to Ten Hag's commitment to raising standards and bringing back success to the club. The manager is said to be excited by the changes, which will provide a more controlled, comfortable, and practical environment for the players. Not only does this decision improve the matchday experience for the squad, but it also aligns with United's efforts to overhaul the players' nutrition strategies. With the ability to provide all their own food on site, the club believes this will enhance their overall performance on the pitch. However, this transformation did come at a cost. Assigning premium hospitality space to the first team meant a significant revenue trade-off for the club. To mitigate this, United has created new hospitality spaces in previously unused areas of the stadium, ensuring a balance between the needs of the first team and the financial considerations. While this change is a step in the right direction, it also highlights the pressing need for extensive redevelopment of Old Trafford or the construction of a new stadium. Plans for redevelopment and improvements to United's Carrington training ground are currently on hold as the club awaits the outcome of a strategic review. Potential investors such as Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani and Sir Jim Ratcliffe have expressed interest in providing substantial investment if they acquire the club. Ultimately, any major redevelopment or improvement of facilities will require significant capital investment. The future of Manchester United remains uncertain, with the Glazer family yet to decide whether to sell the club, retain ownership, or seek outside investment. Regardless of the outcome, it is clear that the club's commitment to enhancing the matchday experience for the players is a positive step towards success on the pitch.